just had a an hour long discussion an hour long gaslighting argument exasperating bang your head against the wall argument with made um the medically assisted and dying program i want accountability for how i was gaslighted uh 100% gaslighted by them. You know, this is so hard to figure out how you're collectively being gaslighted out of healthcare. And, and people along the way get involved in your healthcare and they don't understand that they're part of the gaslighting. People with rare conditions, rare diseases uh rare condition rare medical conditions and you're not get you're being gaslighted out of healthcare and then other people will come along and be part briefly part of your healthcare and they won't understand they do not understand that they're part of the gas they're part of a gaslighting machine right they're part of the uh it's it's disrespect it's mistreatment it's it's harmful, it's abusive to gaslight and refuse health care. And there are people unknowingly, unknowingly involved in this and, uh, and unknowingly <coughs> part of the mistreatment of rare, rare disease patients. And I, I, I want accountability. I didn't... I was confused and I didn't understand what happened when maid came into my home. I don't want to die. I wanted to apply for maid to light a fire under my doctor's butts to try to fight to get me health care. That was my objective in applying for maid. And... This doctor came into my home and it was 100% gaslighting and I couldn't understand what happened. He refused to talk to me about my health issues. Got him in so much pain. He refused to talk to me about my health issues when he was here. That's not normal. People don't understand that this passive mistreatment is abusive when you're messing with somebody like that this passive gaslighting and uh disrespect is abuse when you go in nobody in their right mind no doctor in their right mind is going to go into a patient's home to assess them for maid and refuse to discuss their health issues. That is gaslighting. That is psychological abuse. If you don't think that that's psychological abuse, you don't understand what it's like to harm people, to gaslight people that to that degree that, and you leave and they don't understand what the hell happened. What happened? This is, the, it, it, it's manipulation of someone who's powerful. So if you break it down into simple terms, you go into someone's home to assess them for death and you refuse to talk to them about their health issues? You try to make that normal to me. And they want you to think that that makes sense. Like that's abusive. That's psychological abuse. So, and, and, and you know, I had, I had, you take intelligent people and, and they start to, they start to want to win, win the conversation no matter what they want to they want to win the argument they want to take the upper hand in the conversation i feel like it's power and control and we had an hour long conversation
And they want to make you think that you're wrong. I want someone to explain to me how that is normal or how that makes sense. A man coming in here, a medical doctor, to assess my situation while refusing to speak about my health, him refusing to speak about my health, and him explicitly telling me, I do not want to hear about your health issues. He did not want me to talk about my health issues. So I think what happened and see, I need, I wanted a witness to this conversation when he was here, but I couldn't find anybody short notice. And I do have a copy of that conversation. I want a copy of the report. And I want to see, here's the thing. She said to me, why do you want to know? Why do you want a copy of the report? That was years ago. Okay, like, listen to this language. Listen to this rationale. Uh, it wasn't years ago. It was a couple years ago. It was like two years ago. Maybe three. Why do, why do you even want to know? People, people in positions of power should not be able to gaslight desperate people like this. God, I'm so sick and I had like less than three hours of sleep. My face and head hurt so bad. An hour of arguing on the phone. Why do you need to know? I want accountability. And I also said, like, this reflects poorly on made. If someone's, if you're, and, and I don't think this is the experience of most people with maid, but, but if maid is part of the process of gaslighting people like this, it reflects poorly on maid. What I think happened is that this doc and see, there shouldn't be this di this disconnect. This doctor refusing to talk to me about my health issues. There shouldn't be that level of disconnect. That this doctor ref okay. So what I think happened is he came into my home. He, he looked at my health records, and you're. You have no idea what's, as a Canadian, you have no idea what's in your records, what's not in your records. You have no idea all the derogatory comments in your records. He looked at my medical records and I think none of my health issues are in my medical records. That's the disconnect. <clears throat> and then he comes here, he refuses to talk about my health issues. That's a disconnect. Why would any doctor refuse to talk to you about your health issues? Why disrespect people like that? She wants to know why, why do you want a copy? Why I want to see the disrespect on paper. People shouldn't be continually turned away and disrespected like this. It's, it's with one provider and another provider and another provider and another doctor and another doctor and another doctor. And the people who are suffering like me do not see those reports. And for them to say, well, why do you want to see a report? It was years ago because I'm suffering because I'm suffering and you're part of the process. You're part of the gaslighting somebody out of care. Whether that be health care or death care. 
You're part of the process of harming a patient. If you're going into someone's home and refusing to talk about their health issues, you're harming the patient. And walking away and writing a report that's probably totally misrepresentative of the misrepresenting the situation. You're adding to the harm. If you're writing a report that that misrepresents the person's situation, you're adding to the harm. Chronically ill patients, chronically sick people, rare disease patients are being gaslighted <coughs> out of care. Our health, our voices are not being heard. We're not getting the care that we need. And if MAID is adding to this, to the harm, then we need to talk about it. If MAID is helping get part of the harm, just one more, it's all collective harm. It's collective, collectively gaslighting people out of health care. It's disrespectful. It's wrong. And this lady that I talked to for an hour, she's unknowingly part of part of the harm. <clears throat> because these people that you talk to on the phone, they're giving the doctors the benefit of the doubt. That you're not sick, that nothing's wrong with you. And they're adding to the harm. Well, in all our years of knowledge and all our you know vast years of experience we can see whether yeah bullshit you're adding to the harm of patients this has to stop i want a copy of 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 the bullshit report this needs to be exposed people are continually gaslighted out of care they create this false narrative that you're not sick. I've had brain MRIs during the pandemic. You don't get... I know people here in Canada who, who've been waiting two and three years for a brain MRI. You don't get consecutive brain MRIs during a pandemic in Canada if you're not sick. Literally, we need to expose this collective, chronic gaslighting. Expose the paper trail of how this is being done to people. And people are involved in gaslighting and harming people, and they don't even realize that they're part of the harm.